Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Captain AJ here with A&B Saltwater Adventures. I'm getting ready to do some uh, maintenance on the uh, Shamrock here. I'm gonna walk you forward and show you what I gotta get done, but real quick, I wanted to show you the uh, console. Uh, the last couple videos I posted, I didn't have the uh, Lena post in. So this is the, uh, the Lena post, the storage unit that we have. Get it all set up. I'm gonna do a walkthrough to show you how we lay out everything in our boat. Got our tackle tray set up with our terminal tackle and um, spoons and things like that. Sorry to mount the safety equipment, getting all that taken care of. Today I'm going to pull out the FCC, it's a, a fuel control center and it basically uh, has a high pressure and a low pressure pump in it and a filter as well. Well the filter needs to be replaced every year every 100 hours uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace all the pumps and the fuel filter. We're replacing everything it just ensures that I won't have any issues and just start fresh um, for the season and I'll probably replace these pumps every year. So I've got all the pumps ordered and I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off and I should have those pumps in hopefully the next day or two. That was kind of a little bugger to get out of there, but uh, I got it. Got the uh, high pressure pump. So the pump inside right here, this is the high pressure pump. And I was able to get it out. I wish you give me the most trouble was the hoses. Those old hoses that were connected there, they were really tied up against the uh, fittings. And uh, I probably have to cut the hose back maybe like a half inch. Uh, was it Overall, was it too bad? The hoses gave me a little trouble. Um, but other than that, it was uh, not too bad. I think it took... I think we're running at about 20 minutes on camera right here, so not too bad. All right, I'm going to keep at it. All right, guys, we're moving on uh, with the maintenance that I got to take care of. I've got the elbow risers off of the uh, motor, and I'll flip around here so you can check them out, but I've got them cleaned up. The port side had a slow leak in it, so I wanted to go ahead and replace the gaskets on both of them, so I took them out. These are my new gaskets right here. So I've got these two uh, elbows cleaned up, ready for the gasket. I'm going to jump in the boat and clean the other side up on the uh, motor itself, and then uh, try to get these things uh, potentially installed today if I can. I got the fuel control cell already uh, put back together, so I replaced both of the pumps, the high pressure and the low pressure, as well as the filter and the new O-rings in it. And it really wasn't too bad of a job. It actually probably took me maybe an hour, hour and a half, and that's just because it was the first time I've ever done it. So um, I th definitely next time if I could do it again, it it'll go a little quicker. So, all right, I want to uh, keep at it. So I got to get this, um, got to get this old gasket off of here. I've uh, just vacuumed it out and try to get some of the uh, antifreeze out and then kind of get some of the uh, rust particles and stuff away. And I'm going to kind of stick a rag in here to try to just keep as much as uh, falling into the um, manifold as possible and then keep vacuuming out as need to. But I've got, I've got this uh, adhesive remover. I got this from the auto parts store. Uh, it was in like the gasket section. It helps a little bit, but really the, uh, the best thing that I found to really get the gasket off is just a, a, um, a little chisel here and then a razor blade to really clean it up a little bit more but uh so i'm gonna go ahead and knock this out
I got the top of the manifolds cleaned up. I'll flip you around here so you can check it out. Um, looks pretty good. I uh, took the razor blade and really cleaned it up and then vacuumed it out, wiped it down, and even hit it with a little bit of parts cleaner and uh, really cleaned it up a little bit more. So I got that side. This side over here as well. What I'm doing right here is putting some high temp NSCs on it. So that way when you gotta go replace this again, it'll come up nice and easy. And I put some around the threads of the bolts as well. So that way those nuts won't seize up. It'll be a little easier to get off next time too. All right, that gasket is on. I'm gonna go ahead and lay in the uh, elbow real slowly. pretty good they're pretty good I'm gonna get it bolted down and then I'll go ahead and connect my hoses but I want to get it bolted down first that way the gaskets not sliding around So far, so good. Definitely sounds a lot smoother. It's, I believe it's really getting uh, better fuel than what it was replacing that uh, filter. I definitely needed to replace the filter, but I went ahead and replaced the pumps as well, uh, just because they've been sitting for over a year. So, Look, sounds good. Everything looks good. So far, so good. I'm gonna um, let it run for a little bit, and then uh, probably next video I'll post will be on the water. So, y'all have a blessed day. God bless. Well, guys, it uh, was looking really good. I uh, ran the motor, and I was slowly watching the uh, temperature gauge. It was getting warmer and warmer and warmer, and it got uh, to 212, and then got about two about 230, and I turned it off. Um, so that means I need a new uh, water pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this off, and. Uh, I could rebuild this one, I'm probably just gonna put a brand new one on it. And uh, hopefully if I get this one off now, I can have a new one on by Friday. So um, these things go bad too. It's kind of like the gaskets. You gotta replace them every so often. So, and this motor has been sitting for over a year. So it uh, needs to be replaced. So this is the uh, my water pump right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull my belt off and the pulley and take it off. Good times, here we go.
All right, I got it out. This is a water pump for the uh, Six O Crusader. Pretty easy to change. Took me probably took me longer to find the right uh, the right socket. It's a uh, 15 millimeter uh, versus a uh, 5 8 but uh, it worked pretty good. So go ahead and order a new one. That's my uh, number of stuff right there, and uh, should hope to have it by Friday, if not sooner. I might try to get it overnight. I'll see if they'll overnight it to me, so that way I can get this thing back on the water sooner than later. But uh, all right, well it's coming together pretty good. Uh, one thing after another. It's a uh, with a boat. With a boat, it's always something. But uh, we'll get it fixed. It's uh, better to replace this about every year anyway, especially as much as we use our boat um, once a year. It's probably a good rule to replace a water pump. But all right, we'll keep at it, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, I ordered a new water pump and uh also ordered a new thermostat as well just to make sure so i'm replacing everything in the um in the boat you know with that has to do with the cooling system so that way uh it, it's all fresh and it's, it's all new and starting i'm starting new so that way i can just maintain what, what i got so i'm waiting on those parts i should have those parts by friday um, um i ordered my parts from uh, marine engines and mass um it's like two day shipping and he's got a really good deal on a lot of his parts so highly recommend i can put the link in the uh, description below uh for you so that way if you're uh, ordering anything crusader or any other parts uh, especially inboard outboard motors he's got you covered there i ordered insulation for the engine box and i'm gonna in the all the console i'm gonna insulate the console with this uh, marine insulation it's like a soundproof as well as a heat barrier so i'll flip around here so you can check it out so i ordered this uh engine noise reduction kit this is a uh, Yachtsman's Deluxe. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this and applying it to the uh, center console to try to deaden the noise and quieten it down a lot. It had foam in it before, but when I did all the um, modifications in the paint job, I uh, had to cut it out because it was pretty, it was pretty old, so I had to replace it. So, and uh, so here we go. We're replacing it.
that stuff was super sticky. I uh, didn't have it right in place. I thought I could kind of slide it over, and you cannot slide it over. I had to pull it up real quick, but it is. It's there. All right, so that's the first piece. I'm going to come in and do the sides with a little bit of uh, leftover that I had right here. But it works pretty good, and I come in and I'll tape it. You're supposed to tape it to get it uh, you know, a real clean bond. I, I like that. That works out really well. That'll definitely help. All right, keep at it. Looks pretty good.